Hello, everybody. Today I've got some that awkward moment type jokes, and I'm going to try to do them all in one take because I know that's what you love, and mainly because I don't have to do any editing when I do everything in one take. So here we go. There's uh, that awkward moment when you fart really loud and you end up waking up someone a few rooms away because you farted really loud. There's that awkward moment when you're in a restaurant and you hear someone yell out, Yo, Mike, when do we get a fly swatter? And you start to wonder, you start to question the budget of that specific restaurant. And then there's that awkward moment when a conversation about sex ends with someone calling you a rapist. I'll leave that one up to your imagination. I've also got some more quotes from other YouTube channels that I'd like to share with you all. Abs on a skinny guy is like big tits on a fat chick. It doesn't count. Elliot Hustle. Or Hulse. I don't really know how to pronounce his last name. Get away from me. I'm trying to find notes. It's as important as a bust. Mmm. Busty. That one was from Cinnamon Toast Ken. Could I use your dog as a towel? That one was from Magic of Rahat. And interestingly enough... He said that after he faked a porta potty accident and covered himself in chocolate sauce so that it looked like he basically destroyed the porta potty and got himself covered in shit. Okay, this conversation is going to get especially weird, so if you're not in the mood to be weirded out, then just mute the video and click away or something. I don't care. So, anyway, here I go. Have you ever heard the rumor that basically your balls never stop growing. They're just like earlobes. That seems to be the th thing that I've done absolutely no research on. Well, anyway, I have a theory for that. If your balls are growing too much, it's because you don't masturbate enough. And I think, I actually think there should be laws that a person, all people, need to have, they need to masturbate at least once in a specific amount of time because that way they won't turn into these angry little bridge trolls that, like, do their whole life is nothing but pissing someone off. It's like they're waiting to hear something they don't agree with so they can go in a, on a rampage on people and just feel better about themselves that they were such assholes. I think they should, like, mail little plastic cups to people and, be like, jack off into the cup. It, it's that time. You have to do it today. You have to do it now. We would be the weirdest country ever to enforce a law like that. Am I weird for thinking that? Then again, I support. I supported the Purge. If you haven't seen the Purge, you should. You should go rent it. It's a pretty good movie. Okay, so for those of you wondering what the hell the Purge is, you need to go get the movie because the Purge. The basis of the movie is. You're in America one day out of the year for 12 hours. All crimes are legal. Any crime. But every other day of the year, there's no crime. That's the trade-off. America is... there. We're prosperous. There's n very little unemployment. And there's very little crime. Because on that one day of the year, the purge is in effect where all crimes are legal. I, I would support that. I think that would be a fair trade-off for every other day of the year to be completely fine. I think that would be a decent trade-off. Okay, so I'm sure some of you can tell this video was made a lot faster than many of my other videos, but there's a specific reason for that. This is meant to be more of an update video with a little bit of comedy in beforehand. So I'm trying to change like what direction I'm taking this channel in because I don't really know what I'm doing with it right now. It's been a lot of just straight talking about funny stuff. But I'm thinking about adding in a new thing at the end of every episode, like a, uh, a web comic of sorts. If you've ever seen the Cyanide and Happiness comics, it's going to be a lot like that, but with my own twist for it and like a lot m more terribly made because I'm only going to be making mine in paint. Uh, but I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you an example of one here in a minute, but that's basically why I made this video, is to update you on, I don't really know where I'm taking this channel, I might try to make more, like, sketch-like videos, like I've done in the past, like coffee kills and stuff, but, uh, 
yeah, that's that's basically what I wanted to end this video on. So, here's my shitty little webcomic for the day. I'm sorry if you couldn't read that. I really don't know what I'm doing when it comes to pictures and shit, but if you couldn't read it, I'll just say what it's about. It's a horribly disfigured drawing on the left. There's a regular drawing on the, on the right saying, what's wrong with you? And the disfigured one says, I'm a first draft. So the regular drawn man apologizes as he just, as the disfigured one just sits there and cries. But yeah, I'm probably gonna, uh, I'm gonna probably gonna take a, a bunch of different approaches on this. I might start drawing them out, even though I'm certain that's not going to be any better. But I'll figure something out. I'll, I'll make it good. I'll try to make it good. Or at least decently good. They're basically stick figures, so they're, it's not going to be very good. They're just short little puns. So, yeah. Anyway, I will definitely be putting more short little comics out. But until then, my name is Matthew Gordon Legue, and I hope you all have a hilarious day.